I'm assisting a, a venture capital group uh, called uh, Pulse 63, 63 for the Philippine area code. Uh, it was started by, by an Indian fellow, and it's based in the Philippines, and he only invests in healthcare uh, startups. And so I said, let me see your startups. He had about 30 companies under his roof. The one that caught my eye was the claim system. It's a very simple solution. Uh, all it did was it learned the rules of the Philippine Health Insurance Corporation. But he didn't know how to sell it to the Philippine Health Insurance Corporation. So I, I basically became their biz dev guy, advisor, right? And I said, look, I think I can help you generate revenue from your product, right? And let me structure it this way. I structured it whereby PhilHealth uh, uses the platform as their claims platform, their management platform system. So all claims of the Philippines, all claims of every provider that Philippine health insurance, the national insurer of the country, they spend about 200 billion pesos or 200 billion uh, Indian rupees year on year. So every claim coming in will be checked at the provider site. So before they send it out electronically or physically, it's checked by AI, PDF files, images, data of the, what we'll call it, procedure. The billings are all scanned PDF and they're easily just sped into, a, into your laptop cloud-based, our AI Swift claims ensures that every uh, so-called line item is met for the claim. They make sure that the claim is within the standards of Phil Health, that it is covered and what percent is covered so that the billing is correct. Uh, do we cover 30% of a heart surgery? Do we cover 20% of dialysis, et cetera? And we also make sure that that person exists so we do some fraud fraud checks too. We make sure that the person exists. He was at the emergency ward on February 14 with you know with a hernia or something. So all that metadata is also integrated into the claim system. So it's still growing. We're still expanding the the fraudulent uh, technology like ID cards. We're implementing an ID card outside of the cloud because clouds can get hacked. So we're putting resident data on an ID card that will be with the patient. That way there's no hacking, right? We know that this person still has medical data secured in his ID card. Uh, so yeah, that claim system, what it's doing here, it's reducing 99% of all return to hospital claims. As you know, hospital claims is they submit it, then it gets returned if there's one mistake, right? This system, reduces 99% of the return claims. So the big problem in the Philippines is it was taking so long for hospitals and providers to get their money back. 90 days would be the fastest. Some hospitals would wait two years, one and a half years, because it would never be correct. And then it would get buried, right? Every cycle is a 90-day cycle, mind you. If it returns to the hospital, it's a 90-day cycle. So we reduced that 90-day cycle to 15 days. And I asked Phil Health, What's, why, why 15 days? We can do it within the day. Well, the banking system takes a week, week and a half. <laughs> so so we're, we're working on the banking system so that they can uh, automate the banking approval and wiring of funds into provider accounts. So that's what, that's what the SWIFT claims is. And it's huge because it's nationwide. Uh, we hope to charge between two to three percent of the claims, so there's no cost to the government. We take it out of the claims uh, proceeds. 